But how do I know? Well, all we had to do is go to Timothy, 1 Timothy chapter 1. It said, this is the true saying. If a man desired an office of a bishop, he desired good work. Some translations say it's a little different, but the bottom line is the same thing. Number verse 2. A bishop then must be blameless. The husband to one wife, vigilant, sober, of good behavior, given to hospitality, apt to teach. Not given to wine, nor striker, not greedy or filthy looks, but patience. Not a brawler, not covetous. One that ruled well his own house, having his children in subjection with all gravity. For if a man knows not how to rule his own house, how shall he take care of the church? Not a novice. Lest be picked up, lifted up with pride, he falls into the condemnation of the devil. Moreover, he must have a good report of them which are without. That means outside of his immediate family or in his community. Lest he falls into the reproach and snares of the devil. Let's we'll stop right there. All right. So, God provided some basic details of what a bishop is. What are the qualifications? Here it is. And it saddens my heart when I see congregations ignore this epistle. And not just this epistle, other epistles for the sake of acceptance into a modernistic age or feministic age or you know inclusive diversity equality age and all they're doing is separate them themselves from Jesus because the epistle of Paul is as authentic as any of instruction as any other book in this Bible or text. 